Lehigh Bucknell and Georgetown all moved to 3-1 and one in football, and Army men's soccer opens league play with a win in the fog. All that and more on this week's Patriot League Roundup. Hello Patriot League fans and welcome to a new edition of Patriot League Roundup. Lehigh football moved up to number 14 in the coaches poll with a big win over then number 23 Liberty on Saturday. The game featured four one play touchdown drives and a wild second quarter. Here are the highlights. Both Liberty and Lehigh started the game slow and it didn't really get going until after Keith Sherman broke this 29 yard run into Liberty territory. Lehigh settled for a 30 yard field goal by Tim Divers and on the ensuing kickoff the Mountain Hawks perfectly executed a surprise onside kick with Courtney Jarvis recovering. One play later, Chris Lum connected with Ryan Spadola for a 55-yard touchdown to make it 10-3. After Liberty took a 17-13 lead with less than two and a half minutes left in the first half, Lum tossed out to Sherman, who sprinted down the sidelines and shook off would-be tacklers for a 73-yard touchdown and a 20-17 lead. Lehigh added to its lead right out of the break as Michael Colvin capped a 12-play, 70-yard drive with a four-yard touchdown. Liberty failed at its first attempt to cut it to a three-point game as Mike Brown tossed his pick to Brian Andrews, but about two minutes later, Altricus Allen breaks to the outside and rushes 15 yards for the touchdown. Liberty drove deep into Lehigh territory, but Mike Brown put it on the ground to spoil the drive. Lehigh ran all but 29 seconds off the clock, and that was still enough for Liberty to try a game-tying 54-yard field goal, but it fell short. Lehigh improves to 3-1 in the season as Chris Lum throws for another 300 yards and two touchdowns. Sherman ran for 81 yards and finished with 154 all-purpose yards. Coming off a tough road loss to Cornell, the Bucknell Bison were looking to get back on track against another Ivy League opponent. Thanks to Brandon Wesley and a strong defense, the Bison did just that. Warner will go with the pass. He will roll to the left. He's under pressure. He'll stop. He will be dragged down for a sack. Great pressure that time by linebacker Bo Traber. He'll Billy go back in at tailback. Three wide outs left. Warnham in under center. He'll go with the handoff. To Billy is stopped in the back of the end zone. Josh Eaton will bring him down for a safety. One will go to his left. That's Ray into his right. The Billy orders a bad snap into the shotgun. The ball is loose, and it's recovered by the Bison. Third and goal at the one. Wesley waits, dives, scores six. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison! Starry has two turnovers, one a safety and another a fumble that Bucknell took in for a touchdown. Here's a quick pass, it's intercepted by Bucknell! Here comes the receiver to the 10, to the 5, it is touchdown! Sure, Bucknell Bison! San Diego, California, at 232 yards passing last week, takes the snap out of the shotgun, blitz is on, gets hit as he fired, it's going to be intercepted by Bucknell! And here comes Bucknell looking to run out of it! Is that Bryce Robertson? It is! He better get down! Get down, Bryce! Get down! He heard me. He goes down at the five. There's a pass by Warnham. First and ten. Goes in the end zone. It's going to be intercepted! Robertson goes to his knees. He'll have his second interception of this game. First time we've seen an eye formation. Handoff up the mid on Mills. Fumbles the ball. It's picked up by Bucknell. Here comes the running back, Sean Rafferty. He goes to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. He gets grabbed on his face mask by Ray. No flag, but it is another fumble recovery. And Bucknell has it at the Princeton 29. Offset eye behind Wesley. He'll go with a rollout wide. Got a good block at the corner. Makes a man miss at the three. Fights to the two. Goes over the goal line for six. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison! Offset eye behind Wesley. He will go with the rollout right, get a great block, and he'll spread in for six. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison! As Brandon Wesley got an outstanding block by Carson Warbaugh. Bucknell Bison now 3 and 1 on the 2011 season. Bucknell 34, Princeton 9. Wesley finished with 76 yards rushing and 138 yards through the air on 16 of 23 passing. The defense forced six turnovers for the Bison and had two sacks. Lafayette's offense exploded two weekends ago, but it couldn't match its firepower this past Saturday, and the defense struggled against Stony Brook's speedy backfield. Here's Gary Laubach with the call on Lafayette Sports Network. They've just brought more big bodies in to block as Masonette now is into the backfield, so he'll get it. 
And he'll cut back against the grain. And Mason in on his feet. He's gone. Some 43 seconds to get on the board. From the one. Well, that's going to be easy. Walking it in is Miguel Masonette on a one yard touchdown run. Great man coverage across the board. Here comes the blitz. They'll fire downfield. He's open. Mitchell Bennett will go all the way. 52 yards for the touchdown. There are no flags down on the field. Great job. Shoot. Oh, there's that same play that Mason and ran for a touchdown on the second play of the second half. He does it again, this time 30 yards for the touchdown. They give it to Pat Crean. Nope. Wow, look at that. Nice catch by Mark Ross. His fourth touchdown of the ball game. The Seawolves will win again on Wolfstock Week and homecoming. Chuck Priori has won them all in his six seasons. And the Lafayette Leopards will go to one and three. Masonette finished with 194 yards rushing on 22 carries and had four touchdowns. Andrew Shoup finished with 400 yards and two scores. However, he threw three picks. Here's the rest of the scores from Saturday. Georgetown route at Marist 52 to 28 to move to three and one, setting up a great matchup against the Bison this Saturday in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Rhode Island nipped Fordham 21 to 17 and Towson torched Colgate 42 to 17. All seven teams will be back in action this weekend, including this weekend's league tilt between Georgetown and Bucknell. Lafayette will finally come home to host Harvard after starting the season with four straight road games. Lehigh also will host an Ivy League foe with Yale coming to town for a 12:30 kickoff. Holy Cross will travel to number nine, New Hampshire, and Colgate will host Fordham. Men's soccer open league play Saturday with American, Army, and Lehigh all collecting wins, and Navy and Lafayette playing to a scoreless tie. Lehigh defeated Bucknell 1-0 in double overtime, and Army had to fight through the fog to hold on after going up 2-0. Yeager will throw this one in. Driving for Brown, heads it in and scores! What a great play! Tommy Yeager sent in the free kick, and it was finished by Trent Brown. It will be Kofi to push it forward. Kofi dancing around. He'll stop. He'll shoot. He'll score! Josh Kofi buries it from the top of the 18. Holy Cross cut it to 2-1 with this goal from Pat McCann in the 82nd minute, but Army goalie John Marinelli made three saves, and the defense held on to win despite Holy Cross's late push. In Washington, D.C., American Seth Goldman scored off a corner in the 13th minute, heading a ball in for the 1-0 lead. And after Alessana Kane made it 2-0 on a penalty kick, Tyler Collins chipped in this goal to make it 3-0 with less than 25 minutes left. Four more league games are set for this Saturday, including the Army-Navy game at 7.30 p.m. in Annapolis, Maryland. Women's volleyball opened its league slate over the weekend, with American and Army both sweeping their matches to start 2-0. Army's first league match wasn't an easy one as the Black Knights had to battle from behind, but they won 3-1 at Lehigh on Friday. It was the teacher versus the student on Friday as Army coach Alma Cavalci was going up against her former coach Bob Bertucci, who joined Lehigh after 16 years at Temple. And in the first set, it was Bertucci's squad pulling off the win with this kill by Courtney McCutcheon. Army tied it at 1-1, winning the second set on this service ace from Ariana Mancus. Army took the third set as Lehigh hit this ball out of play, and in a closely contested fourth set, Army survived as Amanda Clark fired this kill for the clincher. Kovacci has now won an own league play against her former coach. Holy Cross had a much easier night on Friday, winning 3-0 at Lafayette with Megan Lynch picking up her 1,000th kill. She posted 12 kills on the night as Holy Cross won in straight sets 25-23, 25-22, and 25-21. American won in straight sets of 25-22, 25-11, and 25-16 against Bucknell on Friday. The Eagles were led by Sarah Rochelle and Rebecca Heath, who each posted 11 kills in the 3-0 sweep. Also playing on Friday, Colgate opened its league season with a 3-1 win against Navy. On Saturday, American and Army both picked up wins to move to 2-0, and Navy won 3-2 over Bucknell, and Lehigh swept Holy Cross 3-0. League play continues this weekend with a first-place matchup between Army and American at 7 p.m. on Friday at West Point. And Navy will visit Army on Saturday. 
Both field hockey and women's soccer will open their Patriot League schedules this weekend. In field hockey, the reigning champion American Eagles enter league play, having won a huge top 10 battle last week, defeating the then number 6 Boston College. The Eagles will host Lehigh at noon on Saturday, while Lafayette will travel to Colgate and Holy Cross will compete at Bucknell. The women's league soccer slate will begin on Saturday as well, with Navy at American, Lafayette at Lehigh, and Bucknell at Colgate. Holy Cross will travel to Army on Sunday to close out the first week of league play. On Friday, Lehigh will host the annual Paul Short Run, which will feature most Patriot League cross-country teams. With the Patriot League Championship scheduled to be run at Lehigh on October 29th, this Friday's race will serve as a nice preview for the Patriot League teams in action. Last season, Colgate's Elise DeRue led the Patriot League women, finishing second with a time of 20 minutes and 10 seconds. Graduated Navy runner Andrew Hanko was the top league finisher on the men's side. The Paul Short Run will begin at 10 a.m. on Friday. That is our show for this weekend. Thank you for joining in, and we look forward to seeing you next week here on Patriot League All Access. To follow all the weekend's action, you can be sure to log on to PatriotLeague.com, or you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you, and have a great week.